Hello everyone, welcome to the video. This, today's topic is about if you've nothing good to say, do not say it. It's a common bit of speech. I found that um, most common little like sayings like that actually are like, they embody deep spiritual teachings, but they're just phrasing one-liner, two-liner common sentences, which people don't really get. But I want to dig deep into this, okay, quickly. If you've nothing good to say, do not say it. Imagine someone's coming at you like an argumentative, accusatory, uh, blaming you. What's a typical response? Resistance, judgment, followed by maybe anger. You want to get them back, revenge, uh, hurt them back again, put them in their place, like war, violence, hatred. But in spiritual terms, it's resistance and judgment. That's what happens in us. We just do exactly what they're doing to us. They're resisting and judging us. And then we springboard back with a reaction. Eckhart Tolle calls it the pain, the pain body or ego, but that's a very oversimplification. Um, so I want to talk about positive energy, negative energy. Usually when we react to absolute negative energy, it causes more strife. What good does it do generally to retaliate with the same form of energy? You're doing what they're doing, except because you did a second, you're acting as if you're righteous and they're victimizing you. But if they are negative to begin with, how, how are you in your right? Or how are you like good to be negative yourself? So look at your life, look at your relationships, look at your responses. Do you respond consciously and positively, or at least neutrally, or do you respond negatively? And usually what people will do will absolutely respond negatively. I've seen it in me, in my own life, absolutely, like 100% I've seen this. So, if you've nothing good to say, don't say it. So that almost means respond to negativity with positivity, or at least neutrality. Don't feed the fire by dumping more negative energy on it. And generally I'd like to say what the Bible says, overcome hatred with good. Overcome evil with good, hatred with love, and falsehood with truth. Over overcome evil with good, hatred with love, and falsehood with truth. So, like I said in another post on Facebook today, you put out the fire with water, you don't put out the fire with more fire. So positivity is like the, the water that puts out the negativity. But, so if you have nothing good to say, do not say it. Ask yourself this question. question. It, is my energy now, or what I'm going to say, positive or negative energy? Where, where am I coming from? A place of negati negativity and negative energy, or positivity and positive energy? Positivity and positive energy generally unites, brings together, heals, soothes. It's like putting a soothing, healing balm on a burnt piece of skin. Positive energy is healing, uniting, fixing, nurturing, soothing. It's a feminine yin, yin quality, almost. Fire is yang quality. Hot scorches, burns, acid, erodes, breaks down, destroys. So ask yourself that. What is your energy in, lo in overall life? And especially when other people are negative with you. If you have nothing good to say, don't say it. So just consider that. You don't have to be 100% fixed on the If you have nothing good to say, don't say it. But bear it in mind. And bear the power of your absolute silence, which is an absence of negativity and even an absence of positivity. And then with a bit of space, a bit of quiet, there's a bit of lack of react reactivity. Which is typically negative, of course. See if you would like to respond carefully and consciously and with a bit of positive energy, a bit of love. Okay, bye everybody. Take care. Lots of love to you. See, see you now. Check my links, my books, and my herb shop, my coaching, and my my work, and my positive t-shirts below. Okay, bye now. Much love, gratitude, and appreciation, by the way.